Hi guys, my name is Firefly and welcome back to a brand new episode of The Witness. First of all, before we start this episode, I would just like to thank every one of you for watching, engaging and liking the video. So, thank you very much. Right, so let's get into it. So, I had a few comments about this lake. Um, and I know by Gmob's, uh, Gmod riddle that um, this reflects everything in the island so, so to speak now I heard we can talk to the lake now I don't know if that's a a thing that we can actually talk to the lake that there's actually someone there to talk to and they tell us stuff or we use to we use the lake to find out certain information so I want to take I want to take a bit of this beginning of this episode just to take a look at what's going on here and try and figure out what this lake tells us. Then we're gonna head over to the shipwreck. I have got a couple of hours today, so I think I'll do some back-to-back -back recording. So let's just get on with it. Okay, so we have lamps in here now i remember when we flew over he spoke about a flickering lamp or she i can't remember what voice it was in at that time so i wonder what the lamps mean let's uh let's count them so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve Now, what could that mean? What could that reflect in the island? So, since they're since they're glowing, are they the lasers? How many lasers have we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten got 10 and how many of them are here got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 hmm I feel like that might not be it then but we've got also this and this looks like um, this lady over here here in fact I think that's the exact the exact same silhouette hmm interesting and we've got these going up there's one here that's not up and how many more? I think I'll need to run around the lake a bit more. Um, can I cross over here? No, I cannot. Let's cross over this side. All right. So if we take a look here, okay, them, them two are still up. We got one there. What have we got down here? Hmm. So it seems like we only have three of these sprinkler things. Oh, there's one. Four. Can I see any more? Oh, there's one over there, I, I think. Which would be five. Oh, and six here. So is there six? Let me just double check if that's one over there. If that's the case, if that's the case, I think I know what they mean. Ah, we can't cross over there. I think they're obelisks because I got a few comments today, yesterday, that there are six obelisks. That is one. Look at that. There are six obel obel obelisks. 
and I have done two. So that's a good way to sort of ground yourself and keep yourself centered and know what you've got left. Then we've got these flowers. Some of them are open and some of them are not. And you've got yellow ones, which I don't think any of them are open actually with the yellow ones. Hmm. I thought I did see one open somewhere. Maybe I was seeing things. But again, what are these things? So, to be fair, if we take a look at this sprinklers, that could be the desert one, that could be the quarry one, and that could be the monastery around here. Or would that be a different one? And the monastery is over here. This one. Is this the shape of the island? I got a feeling this is the shape of the island. Um, and in fact, I think I missed the laser. There's a laser behind it, isn't there? Yep, yeah, there you go. So let's count that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Look at that. There's 11 lasers. I th yeah, I think the lanterns are lasers. I think the lanterns are lasers. This um, this one must be the mountain laser because it's flickering and it's on this silhouette that's the same as the mountain. This laser is behind the mountain, which is that one behind it there. So there's only one behind it. Um, we got that one over there, which is the sun. No, that might be the sun temple. And that might be the cemetery. But yes, these are definitely lasers. So we've got that now. What, what else are we missing? So say this is the the laser with the color color rooms is that the town laser hang on a minute hang on a minute hang on a minute i have a um i have a thing up here i think i don't think i've seen it yet i saw it when i was editing um it's a tape i wonder i wonder if one of the flowers, the yellow or the white ones, are tapes, and when you read it, they blossom. I wonder if I've seen this one. I don't think I have seen this one. I'll I'll double check. I'll double check. Um. Let's see. Oh, my God! How does it happen in this poor old world that thou art so great, and yet nobody finds thee? That thou callest so loudly and nobody hears thee. That thou art so near and nobody feels thee. That thou givest thyself to everybody and nobody knows thy name. Men flee from thee and say they cannot find thee. They turn their backs and say they cannot see thee. They stop their ears and say they cannot hear thee. Houndsbank. Circa Thank you very much. See now, I don't think that was open. I think that was open when we um, found the tape. So maybe the white ones are tapes. And that means there is a hell of a lot of tapes. <laughs> There's a lot of tapes. So if we want to... Oh, and there's clams in there. What the hell is that? Um, they're open. Oh, that one's closed. That one's closed. Are they triangle puzzles or something else? So there's one closed that's next to the town. And there's two yellow things. If this is the shape of the island, then we should 
this should be sort of the shoreline right so let's go and test this out let's do another test let's go try and find this shoreline it should be on the right hand side of the town I'm guessing let's let's go figure this out so if we go over to the town we go to the shoreline which is actually here which is a good start and we look around here oops wrong button I feel like I can I always feel like I can jump there's a secret path here which is another good start oh doggo you know what that was worth it just for the doggo now is there anything else here hmm maybe not maybe not hmm maybe this is the wrong part um maybe we still need to go more to the shore let's go over here let's keep on trying let's keep trying to figure it out but this bit leads to here hmm oh hang on a minute okay what does that allow me to do um is this wait wait a second is this <laughs> i don't even know what obelisk this is for oh there's an obelisk there oh what is that one and that looks like it's going to be part of a puzzle as well oh wait a second is this one as well oh no okay cool it might be i might just be looking at the wrong angle okay hmm let's oh let's go through here actually so at this sort of shoreline here there was a triangle puzzle is there any cassette tape i think i got that one i think i got that one of all the communities available to us, there's not one I would want to devote myself to, except for the Society of True Searchers, which has very few living members at any time. Albert Einstein, 1924. Yeah, I have that one already. I have that one. All right, so there's a hidden obelisk in here. I have no idea. What that one is oh look at this okay before we touch that we need to find a uh a water sprinkle that just came up not fully up but it's like half up and we need to see if there's a white flower next to it that's not blossomed or bloomed um okay so we're over here oh look at that look at that so that's the one we just started doing now we've got yellow flowers and we've got a white flower let's see which one opens up now we know this one's already open okay let's go and ch check this out let's go and check this out this this whole video is like dedicated to this lake <laughs> it's, it's a puzzle within itself to be honest okay um can i yeah i can click it from here your question is the most difficult in the world it is not a question I can answer simply with yes or no. I am not an atheist. I do not know if I can define myself as a pantheist. The problem involved is too vast for our limited minds. May I not reply with a parable? The human mind, no matter how highly trained, cannot grasp the universe. We are in the position of a little child entering a huge library filled with books in many languages. The child knows someone must have written those books, 
does not know how. Does not understand the languages in which they are written. The child dimly suspects a mysterious order in the arrangement of the books, but doesn't know what that is. That, it seems to me, is the attitude of the most intelligent human toward God. Albert Einstein, 1930. I bet it was this one. I bet it was this one. What? What is that one then? Why is that one started? That might already been up. Actually, I think that was already up. I think it was this one. I'm gonna uh, look through the edit as I'm editing it, and I will check if this actually blossomed. But I think it did. I think that's exactly it. And it, it looks like the exact location. The obelisk was here, and you see it's a hexagon like the obelisk. And it was on the left uh, top corner. So I th I think these white blossoms are tapes. Yeah, I'm going with that. Oh, triangle leaves. G mod. I remember. I remember you saying the triangle leaves are the triangle puzzle puzzles. I think I remember that. So I'm guessing when they either brighten up because this one's dark it means I've done them and when they're not bright that means I haven't done them or they appear when I have done them not quite sure yet oh look there's another dark one yeah I think they they brighten up when I've done them okay so there's still a few triangle puzzles to do then in fact there's one more in the mountain or around the mountain there's one there that we've done Okay, so this, this this lake actually told you so much. So we're going to go now to the shipwreck, which on the lake would mean it is past the keep. Um, oh, there's a clam here. Oh, look at that. Look at that metal. It looks like there's a shipwreck there. I think this is the shipwreck. So there should be a tape. There's a clam. And it looks like we've got a triangle puzzle that we've already done. So, oh, there's another triangle puzzle around here. So we're going to go to the shipwreck and see if this clam opens up and if this opens up as well. And uh, I'll see you guys at the shipwreck. All right, so we are here. So I decided to start it from here. Just in case. Oh, is any of these puzzles, environmental puzzles? Mm, maybe not. Maybe I'm. Oh, come on, that definitely is. Come on. Oh, yeah. No, come on. No, that definitely's got to be one. I don't care what anyone says. That has definitely got to be an environmental puzzle. Oh, come on. How? How am I not getting that angle? That's a perfect circle. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. I feel like I need to get on this sofa. I can't get on the sofa. Okay. Hmm. I feel like I'm going to spend two hours trying to get to the right angle of this. Okay, I'll remember that's there. I'll come back to that. I'll remember that's there. Maybe if I'm up here. Maybe, 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 maybe. Uh, no, nah, that you won't be able to see it from there. Okay, let's move on. We will get that on the way out, definitely. All right, so this is meant to be the shipwreck. And there's a tape, apparently, and a clam. I don't know what clams are. And we kind of know, oh, is that another one? Oh, come on. There we go. Um, 
we kind of know we know what their their flower is so whatever this shipwreck here isn't it well, that's a long one cool oh there that's definitely one as well there we go there we go free in one place love it love it um okay let's take a look down here not many things around here to be honest all right what is in here some freaky noises noises some really nice clear water though makes me want to go on holiday um that's upstairs we can't go up that way okay i'm hearing noises <clears throat> excuse me i'm hearing noises now is that a clue to something i wonder oh so that should be the white flower a ship owner was about to send to sea an emigrant ship. He knew that she was old and not well built at the first, that she had seen many seas and climes and often had needed repairs. Doubts had been suggested to him that possibly she was not seaworthy. These doubts preyed upon his mind and made him unhappy. He thought that perhaps he ought to have her thoroughly overhauled and refitted, even though this should put him at great expense. Before the ship sailed, however, he succeeded in overcoming these melancholy reflections. He said to himself that she had gone safely through so many voyages and weathered so many storms that it was idle to suppose she would not come safely home from this trip also. He would put his trust in Providence, which could hardly fail to protect all these unhappy families that were leaving their fatherland to seek for better times elsewhere. He would dismiss from his mind all ungenerous suspicions about the honesty of builders and contractors. In such ways, he acquired a sincere and comfortable conviction that his vessel was thoroughly safe and seaworthy. He watched her departure with a light heart and benevolent wishes for the success of the exiles in their strange new home that was to be. And he got his insurance money when she went down in mid-ocean and told no tales. What shall we say of him? Surely this, that he was verily guilty of the death of those families. It is admitted that he did sincerely believe in the soundness of his ship, but the sincerity of his conviction can in no wise help him, because he had no right to believe on such evidence as was before him. He had acquired his belief not by honestly earning it in patient investigation, but by stifling his doubts. And although in the end he may have felt so sure about it that he could not think otherwise, yet inasmuch as he had knowingly and willingly worked himself into that frame of mind, he must be held responsible for it. William K. Clifford, 1874. Right, interesting story. All right, so I'm pretty sure that um, Brendan said before that this ship rep uses some of the puzzles that we've already done so that's meaning there are puzzles on the shipwreck but i can't seem to find anything i really can't seem to find anything hmm hmm oh and we found this one that was a a stroke of luck Oh, can I go down here anyway? Hmm. Okay, I guess not. Let's check up here one more time. We got that. And there's nothing down there. There doesn't seem to be any puzzles here. Go down here. You see, when you go down here, there's noise. Why is there noise when you go down here? 
what is important around here? Ah, there we go. So, before we do that puzzle, can we see anything else? No. Okay, let's take a look at this puzzle. Ooh, oh, okay. I can hear, okay. That's why there's noise, because this is a noise puzzle. Oh, no. Okay, let's try and listen to the noise. Hmm, okay. It's like a big noise first, or a low noise first. Yeah. Wait, let me just make sure. Okay, so it's an invisible um, thing. Okay, cool. So we don't know which ones. I think it starts with that noise there. Okay, so it's like deep, high, and then normal. No, but we also got to make sure it covers this. So if we go there. Yeah, I think you get the, the sort of long noise and the drip, which could be the orange normal sound. In fact, we could just do that, that one there, can't we? And then I think you'd get, yeah, this note is it's quite confusing. High pitch, the normal pitch. Hmm. I know we've got to get more of the oranges. So where is it now? Um, I'm trying to visualize where this thing is. I feel like it's this one, this one, and then this one. No, it has to be that one, unless we go this way. Sorry if I'm being quiet, I'm really trying to listen to the sound of it. I feel like, I feel like it's actually like this. I feel like that's the order it goes in. But then we've got to get this one here as well. Okay, so let's think about this order now. So if we get this one up here, that covers the orange as well. And then we need to go up into the middle to get that orange. Then we can get this. Then we can get this. No. Oh, we didn't get this one, did we? We didn't get that one. Let's try that again. Right up. Yeah, and then there. Then we need to go down to grab that one. <laughs> Lovely. That the, these sound ones are so hard for me. It's really hard. Okay, so this is the hexagon puzzle. Lovely. Need to take a screenshot of that while I'm editing. And maybe that's the clam. Maybe 
that is the clam. Okay, let's look around just to make sure there is nothing else in this place because I'm pretty sure I saw a triangle leaf. So I'm assuming that that is a triangle puzzle. So I just want to double check to make sure everything. Um, mm, ropes. Circles. When you see circles, oh, look at that, look at that. When you see circles, there you go. It normally means it's a start to a puzzle. Now hang on a minute, that's not going to be one, is it? <laughs> that is going to be one. That is going to be, oh. Ah, okay, let's go from here. That is, oh, oh, okay. We need to get to the right angle. Maybe that one. Yeah, there we go. Now this rope. See, I can't see any circles. This is basically what I look out for now is circles. My whole life is circles at the moment. This looks like something. Hmm. Okay. Anything else down here? I hope I find a triangle puzzle because that would confirm the last sort of thing. In fact, we've got yellow leaves that we don't know what they do. Yellow blossom leaves. Um. Okay, uh, let's go look over here again. Don't want to leave this place and have to come back here now, do we? Right, everything up there looks fine. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. Now, this puzzle. I was confused with this puzzle. So, off screen, I went around and looked at the ones I already did. Um, and I think I know what I need to do with this. So I think with these yellow triangles, you need to cover a set amount of sides for that block. So say this has got two triangles in it, I need to cover two of the sides. So I'm gonna do that theory right here. So I'm gonna cover one side. Oh, it's always gonna cover two sides actually. In fact, I'm gonna cover three sides and that should be wrong. Yeah. So if I cover two sides, there you go. Look at that. Lovely. And that's that triangle done. All right, let's go back and see what the lake is telling me now. Um, we also got one more um, circle or environmental puzzle to do. And I truly, truly believe it's this. But I don't know how. I feel like it's got to reach there. But I don't know if it's going to reach there. Yeah, it's not even lighting up. And that doesn't look like an ending. That looks like an ending. Is that just like a red herring? Like they're just saying, you know what? I want you to sit there and try and figure it out, but it doesn't actually work. So <laughs> I think we're going to leave that for a bit. All right, I will see you back at the lake. All right, so we are coming to the lake. And look at that. Look at that. Clam is open. Flower is bloomed. And there's a triangle leaf, but it's not lit up. Hmm, that's interesting. That is interesting. So maybe they don't light up. Maybe they're just there. Hmm. Okay, maybe it's just there. Maybe it's just to let you know that there's a triangle, um, what they call it, puzzles around that bit. Okay, I think, I think I'm happy with this episode. I think we are done. I think this is definitely the hexagon puzzle. I don't know if I mentioned that already, but yeah, I think that's definitely the hexagon puzzle, which means 
we still have one one or two more yeah you can see there's a clam there that's not open and I'm sure I'm, I saw one more somewhere but yeah that's it for this episode so thank you very much and I hope to see you on the next episode peace